And hey there, we're here with yet another video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to talk about some very impressive ways and tips that you can follow in order to restart your Android phone without using the power button. And before we get into details, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. So come along, let's find out more about these methods coming right up. So for part one, turn on Android without the power button when the screen is off. So since you are avoiding the use of the power button for turning on your Android device, the need for proper methods is evident, which particularly avoids this feat. We will be starting our video with some methods that you can use in order to turn on your Android device without the power button when the screen is turned off, so you can manage your device battery. And with the screen turned off, there might be a clarified understanding that this device that you're using is simply dead. To keep your devices safe from such issues, just make sure that you're always charging your phone in order to maintain full functionality. In other cases, if your device luckily has the option to remove the battery from this device, you should try to remove it and then put it back in and then restart it from there. And you can also restart Android with ADB. So considering that you want to avoid the boot menu procedure, we actually have another way that you can try in order to restart your Android device with the screen turned off. So for this, you just need to have a computer and you need to ensure that the Android device actually has USB debugging enabled. So with that, we shall now look into the procedure for restarting Android with ADB. So for step one, before going onto your computer, you first need to know how you're going to turn on USB debugging on your Android device. So lead on onto your settings and across the about phone section and find the build number and finally tap, tap on it seven times in order to become a developer. And and then head back into the settings of your Android device and go to developer options. Then find the option of USB debugging in the list and then go ahead and turn that toggle on. And then when you connect your Android device to your computer, you will see USB debugging option available for you when connected. And now you just need to download Android Debug Bridge or ADB on your computer. Extract the files and install at the setup. An administrator window is going to pop up, so go ahead and accept it, then press enter. A warning is going to appear on your screen on which you have to click on install in order to execute the installation of ADB on your computer. Uh, go onto the directory and then click on file and then click on open windows PowerShell on the new window and then go ahead and type in ADB devices. Uh, so you can take a look at the IMEI number for your phone. And then next up, just go ahead and type in ADB reboot in order uh, to restart your Android device without turning on the screen whatsoever. So now for part two, restart Android without the power button when the screen is actually turned on. So there are going to be simpler methods available in order to restart your Android device if your screen is still turned on. As you want to avoid using the power button as it might get damaged or is damage across your Android device, you may just consider use, using the following methods as a source to restart your Android device. Now, so you can actually use assistive touch in order to restart your Android device. Android devices now come with an impressive feature of assistive touch across the device that makes makes available procedures in quick accessible buttons. And with this feature, you can completely exempt the use of the power button on your device, which is actually quite impressive. So for step one, go ahead and open up your Android device and proceed over to the settings and then lead over to additional settings from the list there. On the next window, you need to go over to the quick ball option for accessing assistive touch and then turn on this feature with the toggle and then proceed to select shortcut and section for specifying the settings across assistive touch. In the available options, you just need to go and press the option of long press the power button. And then with that, you need to access assistive touch and then simply long press the power button in order to access the menu from where you restart your Android device with ease. But you can also use other apps in order to replace the power button, which is kind of interesting. Now, to make your work easier, you can also consider using some pretty intuitive applications designed for the purposes of replacing the power button and its utility. In this video, we're going to be recommending to use some of the top-notch examples that you can try across your Android device. And so one of them is actually going to be Power Menu Software Power Button. This application supports uh, the basic procedure of turning your Android device on and off with ease. So not only is this platform completely basic in its utility, but it also provides 
absolute result in restarting an Android device without the power button. And so to understand how you can use it, just go ahead and follow the steps coming right up. So first things first, as always, please make sure to install the application on your Android device and then open up the application once prompted. And then go ahead and just tap on take me to settings screen and find yourself in the settings of your Android device from there. And then proceed into the downloaded apps option on the screen. And then you need to select the application in the list and then finally turn on the toggle by enabling the option of use power menu. Now lead back onto the app and then click on the open power menu button in order to reboot your device without the power button. And then the next one that you can use is called restart power menu, no root. Yeah, this is actually going to be another quick solution in order to restart your Android device without using the power button. As this device helps you access the power options with ease, you can consider downloading and installing it for this purpose. So just look ahead in order to understand how to use it. Uh, just download and install the app on your Android device and then finally open it. Click on the icon appearing up front in order to open the settings of your Android. And you need to provide accessibility to this app for the purposes of restarting your device. And then go ahead and access the downloaded apps off and then select restart in the next window and turn on how the toggle of use restart in order to set that up if required. And once turned on, open the application and then tap on the icon appearing on the screen. And now this opens up the power menu from where you can just select restart and then your phone is just going to reboot from there. Now as for part three, a power button not working, what to do in the long run. Now the method that we have talked about our practice in order to avoid any kind of excessive use of the power button for operating this device. Under such circumstances, many users do report problems with the power button. So to avoid getting into any kind of issues or damaging your power button, we tend to rely on these for that reason. So you can actually use the raise to wake function here. Uh, this function provides you the option of, of turning on uh, the screen on, on your Android device without using the power button and when you raise uh, the phone uh, from the table or anything like that where it is residing. And to turn on this feature on your Android device, I'm going to show you exactly how. So step one is just going to be uh, launch your settings on your Android device and then proceed uh, to the always on, on display and lock screen settings. In the next screen, go ahead and click on the toggle of the options that we're presenting raise to wake and that's pretty much it from there now you can also turn on screen on double tap and if, and if we turn on the option of double tap in order to turn on and off the android screen you will avoid having to use the power button so just go ahead into your settings and then go into always on display and lock screen option and find the option of double tap in order to wake or turn off screen on the next screen and then turn on its toggle from there you can also use the fingerprint to unlock your device. Another very impressive way to avoid using the power button is actually by turning on the fingerprint sensor in order to unlock your device. To use this function, it's going to help you in avoiding tapping at the power button and just using it excessively. So open up your Android settings and go into passwords and security. On the next window, go ahead and click on the fingerprint unlock option in order to turn it on and then configure your fingerprint by following the on-screen instructions from there. And there we have it. We have gone through quite Find a lot of methods of restarting an Android phone without the use of a power button in detail. And if you liked our video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this moving forward. So until next time, have a good one.